What's up, everybody? Tom Bomb here today. I am bringing y'all another prediction video. That it has been a long time since I've made one of these, and these videos typically do pretty well. Um, yeah. So today it is on the Western Conference playoff predictions, 2017. Now, before I do get into the video, please keep in mind that this video was made on April 5th, so there are still some games to be played. But in the Western Conference, pretty much everything will most likely be the same other than the 8th seed, which I will touch on that later. Also, that this video is completely my opinion, and if you disagree, like, that's totally fine, and if you do disagree, comment down below what you think, and, you know, we can have a friendly debate. Let's just keep everything friendly in this video. Also, everyone, I am getting a new editor and a new computer soon, so expect better edited videos than what you're going to watch this video and what you've seen lately. That'll probably be sometime in May, early May-ish. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. First off, Warriors versus the Trailblazers, honestly. Even if Yusuf Nurkic returns, Kevin Durant's returning on the Warriors, and the Warriors, honestly, they have been hot lately or on fire, even without Kevin Durant, which they've won 12 games in a row at the point I'm making this video. And realistically, unbiased, Trailblazers are my favorite team, but the Warriors would I would say beat them in five or six games. But lately, the Trailblazers have actually been very good with Yusuf Nurkic on the floor. With Yusuf Nurkic on the floor. But if Yusuf Nurkic returns fully healthy and they continue what they did when he was on the floor, I think they could put five or six games on the Warriors. Now, in saying that, if the Denver Nuggets make it to the playoffs instead of the Trailblazers, I pretty much see the same thing happening going down in five or six games. I would probably say five games just because the Denver Nuggets really haven't been as good lately. And honestly, their best player is Nikola Jokic, who is great and he's going to be a great, he's already great and he's going to be a fantastic player. He's just so young, so I just see the Warriors beating either team in five or six games. Next up, the two versus seven seed, San Antonio Spurs versus the Memphis Grizzlies. This one, this series is pretty much set in stone. It's going to happen for sure. Uh, yeah, Spurs are obviously winning this one probably in five games. The Warriors did sweep the Memphis Grizzlies last year, but Mike Conley and Marcus Gasol were hurt, so I think they could take a game off the Warriors a season, even two if they perform very well. But chances are Spurs are either going to sweep them or beat them in five games just because of how good the good of a team the Spurs are. Probably the most interesting series in the first round of the 2017 Western Conference playoffs, the Houston Rockets versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Wow. This is going to be a great series, but to be realistic, the Thunder are just a better team I don't know if Russell Westbrook or James Harden is better, whoever's better. It doesn't matter, but J it does matter. But James Harden has a much better team built around him for his play style. Really, we've just seen it throughout the season. James Harden's Rockets are a better team than the Thunder, so I have them beating the Thunder in six games. Utah Jazz versus LA Clippers. Honestly, I think the Clippers are going to choke in the first round. Or I don't even know if you could say choke, but the Jazz really, I mean... Utah Jazz are just such a more complete team, and who are, Luka Mba Mute, what, however you pronounce his name, is not going to do very well with Gordon Hayward. Also, Rudy Gobert, he is a ferocious uh, rim protector, as well as DeAndre Jordan, but really, Rudy Gobert can stop Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, probably a top three defender in the NBA. I just think the Utah Jazz have a much better bench than the Los Angeles Clippers, uh, you know, the only problem, the only way I could see the Clippers beating them is Chris Paul just playing amazing, but I have the Jazz winning in seven games. All right, moving on to round two, the Warriors versus the Jazz, the teams I picked to win. I would still say the Warriors to win, on, you know, but just because the Warriors are a much better team, uh, the Utah Jazz, you know, got Gordon Hayward. They, I bet you they can force the Warriors to six games because the Jazz, 
in my opinion, are a very underrated team, and they are going to make some noise this playoffs. I just don't think they can quite beat the Warriors' star talent. For the San Antonio Spurs versus the Houston Rockets, ah, you know, it's actually, for some reason, for me, it's hard to pick between these two. In an unbiased way, I'd probably pick the Spurs, but if James Harden plays super well and his teammates play very well around him, uh, I think the Rockets could have a chance at beating the Spurs. It's just, you know, talent-wise, coaching-wise, the Spurs are just better overall than the Rockets. I would probably have the Spurs winning in seven games or the Rockets winning in seven games. I could see it going either way. But overall, I'm going to pick the Spurs. Like, if I were betting money, I'd bet on the Spurs. Uh, but, again, I would say it's like a 55 to 45 chance. The Spurs have a 55% chance of winning. The Rockets have a 45% of chance of winning. Ultimately, it just depends on how James Harden plays. And really, just of how good a defensively team... Sorry. How good the Spurs are defensively, really, I mean... If they can find a way to stop James Harding, like, this series is over. So, yeah, I picked the Spurs winning in seven games. In the Western Conference Finals, it is the Warriors and Spurs. Ah, man, it is hard to choose between these teams. Um, you know, just unbiasedly, I would say it's like a 52 to 48% chance Warriors Warriors, man, Kevin Durant, really, the way he's he had been playing this season, it's just been very good. And Steph Curry, I mean, he's been pretty, he's not been the best this season, but he's still been pretty good. And if you look at it match up, it, the Warriors' backcourt is Steph Curry and Clay Thompson compared to either Patty Mills, Patrick Mills, and... Danny Green or Tony Parker and Danny Green, Manu Ginobili, like, really? And I know, and then they also have Draymond Green to guard LaMarcus Aldridge and Kevin Durant to guard Kawhi Leonard, or they could have Kevin Durant guard LaMarcus Aldridge and Draymond Green guard Kawhi Leonard, which really just everything defensively seems to match up with the Golden State Warriors better. But... If Kevin Durant does not play good, somewhat like Steph Curry last year in the Warriors' choke, I would definitely say the Spurs beat them in six games. But on the series, I would probably have the Warriors beating them in six or seven games, considering that the Warriors are healthy. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my predictions video. Again, let's keep this a hate-free video. Respect my opinion. I tried to go unbiased for this whole video like if I were to be biased I would probably have the Spurs beating the Warriors which that could definitely happen I, Rockets could definitely beat the Spurs and I understand that this these predictions may be wrong but I just went I tried to be as unbiased as I could so I would pick the Warriors but if the again if the Warriors aren't healthy or Kevin Durant isn't at his full level for sure the Spurs would beat them for sure but Considering that Kevin Durant is going to have a few weeks to get better before the finals, if cons or Western Conference Finals, considering they make it there, yeah, chances are, in my opinion, Warriors are winning it. And then they're going to make it to the NBA Finals and, get and lose to the Cavs. That's just what I'm saying. But anyways, y'all, thanks for watching.